It's too late. Too little. And we don't have a hundred years to turn the medical community around and solve our problem. Petroleum derivatives kill insects and plant diseases, speed the ripening of fruit, and preserve it on the way to market. Today, a farmer can fight the odds of nature instead of giving in to them. You know, we've made these chemicals that are interfering with our hormones. And the hormones are those signaling chemicals that tell every cell what to do, every tissue to go, every part of us constantly all day long is controlling how we live. They're in our bodies at concentrations we can't even measure them directly. We have to basically go in and measure the atoms that are there so we can calculate the weight of the chemical. And we know that endocrine disrupting chemicals at these concentrations can cause irrevocable damage. Starting from the minute the sperm enters the egg right through to you're an adult. And the laws are so outdated. You can't change the law. It's impossible to change the law. We need entirely new laws that are based on what we know about the mechanism of action of these chemicals. Everybody who is supposed to be working on this and rewriting the laws are stakeholders. These people have severe conflict of interest in terms of finance and also the fact that they don't understand this new concept. Those that have the most power and the most representation on all of the committees that the government has set up are not going to give in. I mean, they're going to try to discredit the work that's being done by this host of pioneer scientists who have been doing the endocrine disruption research. You know, when you reach the point where there's no return and you have no alternative, you don't invite anyone with any conflict of interest. And you don't bring in the old flat earthers who do not want to even accept the idea that there is a new way to look at chemicals. And a lot of it has to do with the way the government has to operate. The stakeholders are the ones who have been trying to run this program. And it has not worked. Right now, we need something urgently. There are thousands of papers that have been published by those who discovered endocrine disruption. Not only endocrinologists, but from many, many disciplines. I'm working with these people and they say, you know, it's really too late. We've gone too far.